I'm in frame. <laughs> I can't see myself because of the fact I have to use my back camera on this little shit phone. Anyways, I'm at OV appointment right now. Um, I'm like, I'll talk more about my experience with that later. But it is definitely different um, than how things were last time I was here, which was about a month ago. So I'll explain a little bit later about how things were different today and the OB appointment and kind of like the procedures and stuff that they did. So I will see you when I describe that. Alright, so I figured since I have time, I would start talking about my experience today at the OB um, during the COVID-19 cases and stuff. Like that. It is the 1st of April. I did have a physical appointment because of the fact that I had glucose, uh, oh, ultrasound, and I was supposed to see the doctor and stuff like that. Anyhow, so... Um, my OB is not at the office because of the fact that she was working in labor and delivery and labor and delivery is attached to the ER kind of. So to try to not cross contaminate, if contamination happens, if someone gets um, COVID or anything like that, they are not coming back to the office. So I saw a uh, midwife. Is it a, a nurse and a midwife? I did also get screened when I first showed up. So what they did is no visitors. So if my boyfriend was wanting to go, he couldn't. Um, it's not that he didn't want to go. He just knew that 18 and under wasn't allowed in either way. So um, he was watching my son and stuff like that. Um, so there's no visitors allowed, so it was only patients only. And uh, you had to make sure that you know that you had an appointment that day. And they asked you questions about um, if you had this symptom and that, like fever, shortness of breath, cough. Um, they asked it, uh, the check temperature was like a, a one that doesn't touch. So it's one of the like laser kind that they do on your forehead. And yeah, it was pretty easy, pretty quick. It was a little bit, you know, different. I'm also cooking, so this is kind of be, gonna be kind of like cut a little bit. You know? Anyways, is um, so I saw a midwife and a nurse, and uh, I did my ultrasound. My ultrasound would mainly check the valves of her heart and stuff like that, make sure that, you know, her heart's growing fine and stuff like that. And so I found out that she is about a week ahead. I knew she was already about three days ahead. But they said that she's growing about a week ahead. So she's going to be big. Not surprised. Um, I did my glucose test today, but I won't find out the results till tomorrow. So... That's why I was there so long, because I was there. I was there for probably about three hours, four hours. From about 9.55-ish till about one, with how long I was there. Um, because my appointments were kind of like spread out. I had only one appointment there technically. So, um, my midwife, or the midwife did talk to me about the COVID stuff a little bit and like, and just actually genuinely had a conversation with me about um, it must be hard type of thing, which was really nice. So I never finished making an outro or anything to this. Uh, I know I was really busy that day, I probably was. But yeah, pretty much uh, after we talked, and just pretty much told me I was going to be doing telehealth from there. I have had one telehealth appointment so far, and then I have another one coming up on the 28th. 
I don't think I'll be seeing an actual OB though until 36 weeks and I'm about to be 32 weeks on Monday, which is I think the day before I have my appointment. Um, so I won't be going back in to see a midwife or anything until like May 25th and it is currently April April something I'll put it in so yeah it's definitely kind of scary uh, not being able to see an actual OB and stuff like that and get your blood pressure checked and stuff like that um, yeah uh, that was pretty much my experience with the OB office and stuff like that I did end up having to go do some blood work and stuff like that because I had low iron so, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing all right and hope you're staying safe. Bye.